All right, so uh, from this underhook, the next thing I want to show is a fake drag. Uh, you can pair this with the snap, and, and we talked about chain wrestling, mixing stuff together, uh, but this is another extremely effective way to get an angle and score off of making him react. Get the underhook the same way, um, which really any way works, but what we're showing right now is fingers inside and punch into this. Now this time, uh, when I fake, maybe his level's a little bit, maybe his foot goes back, but his level's a little bit higher than what I want to snap, or maybe I'm just looking for a different way to score. Um, this is super effective too. But so off of this fake, what's gonna happen is this arm's here, uh, he doesn't have a lot of power in this. So my, le my left hand that's on this hook is gonna slide down his tricep and pull it towards me. Now as that happens, my right hand, this armpit that's now vacated, is reaching across up to his armpit. Now I'm gonna pull this through to my hip, just like the arm drag we learned earlier. I'm stepping around um, to beat this shoulder. Once I'm here, I've got him beat. I'm grabbing this hamstring. My right hand is rotating over top of his arm so that his arm's not in the way anymore. I'm pulling myself in, locking my hands below his butt. Get my two. Well, I'll show that all again. I'm getting to my underhook. I'm catching this wrist. I'm punching, moving my feet. Now, I still want to fake first to get a reaction. I'm level changing faking. Now from here, this hand sliding down his tricep and I'm pulling his arm towards me. With it, I vacated that armpit. This is reaching across. I'm pulling his arm down and I'm stepping around it. I'm trying to get his arm to my opposite hip. Now I've got this angle. I'm taking his hamstring. I'm rotating my hand over top, pulling myself into this double leg. With my hands locked below his butt, that's fake arm drag.